Hey guys, this is Tim, back again with another video. And in today's video, I just wanted to do a very quick uh, overview on how takes work inside of Houdini. So takes have been in Houdini since forever. I've known about them since forever, uh, but I never used them as much. And I, I recently started using them a lot more actually. And I figured maybe there's more people that don't even know maybe takes exist inside of Houdini. And well, or you know that they exist, but you never really use them. So I figured I, I just go over some examples and just show, show them uh, how they can be useful. So what takes are is essentially a uh, override for your scene. So what you can do is you can add overrides to, to parameters and that can be any parameter in your scene. So it can be the intensity of a light or the color of a material or anything you, wanna, you want basically. Uh, and then you can assign a take to, for example, a specific ROP and then render, uh, render out your ROP with a specific take. So, for example, this is a very simple Redshift scene that I set up. And what I'm going to show you is completely irrelevant to Redshift. I'm just using Redshift for this demo, but it applies to anything you do, any render engine or anything you do in general. So, this is my, my main take. Uh, and... Well, this is what it looks like. But what I can do is I can go to the take list over here, or I can down, go down here and you can see I also have takes here and I can make a new take. So I can say add take. Um, so you can see is I get a take be below my main take. So if I select this take, and if I now go to select one of my objects, you can see everything is grayed out. That's because um, you need to include something in a take in order to, well, to, to be able to change it. So let's say I want my, my torus to be a little bit smaller in this take. So what you can do is I go to uniform skill, right click, include in take. Now you can see, I can see it right now, so I can make it smaller. Let's say I want to do some other stuff. So let's say I have this light here and maybe what I want to do is I want to change the color. So I can say include in take. Oh, I need to first say include intake on my mode. So let's say put it to color and let's make it, for example, a little bit red. So let's just go in this take and let's just render. And nothing seems to happen yet. It's because our Rob over here is set to render with our main take, which we don't want. We wanted to render it with our take one. So if I now press render, you can see Taurus turns smaller and we have sort of a red color. So we can make another take maybe. Let's let's go back to our uh, main take and another take, take two. And so let's just, let's say, let's set this to render with take two. So now we're back where we are. I can go into my material maybe. And let's say that I want to go into my sphere maybe I want to uh, I need to by the way go into my take and uh, let's say I want to include intake and change the color of my sphere to well, I don't know green or something and maybe I want to go into my box and maybe I want to decrease my displacement I put it into two so I got a little less displacement so now this is what my takes like, and I can, I can go through my takes. And so this is what this one looks like. Oh, I need to, so this is what uh, the main take looks like. This is what take one looks like. And this is what takes two looks, two looks like. So right now we're just doing it on this rod, but of course what I can do is I can put this one, for example, to take one. Then, so uh, to main take, then, and something is breaking. Side effects, fix, fix this bug, please. Right, so put this one to take one, and do another one, put it to take two, and then let's assign this. So now I can go, for example, in here, and then my main take looks like this. like this and looks like this 
I can also make sub takes. For example, I can make a take underneath take two. So then it will have all of the parameters from, uh, so it will inherit the variation of that scene. And then I could, for example, go again into this one. And let's say I want in this one, I want to, um, let's go up, like for example, make my box a little bit smaller and put Another rock, put this to take three. Okay. So the first domain take, and let's take three. And let's render take three. Oh, now you can see it's smaller. And you can, if you click through this, you can see all of the parameters that are included in this take. So you can see in this one, only the scale is included, but all of this other stuff is included in this take. So if I were to change, for example, my displacement again in this take, then it would also work in the other take. So let's go into my box. Let's increase the displacement. And then, for example, render take three. Let's see if I have the, yeah. So now you can see it's smaller, but it still has increased displacement. And what we're doing now constantly is we're constantly including stuff in a take. So we're constantly right-clicking, include in take. What we can also do is we can auto take, which is essentially like auto keying, for example, when you're animating. So I can go in here. Oh, uh, auto take was already turned on, apparently. Maybe I accidentally turned it on. Uh, but if you have it turned on, uh, auto take, you can see everything is sort of uh, brown. That means everything will be included by default. Let's, for example, go into our take tree. Uh, let's move our box up. You can see in our take list, the translation will be changed. So if I render this take, now it's, well, it's way up there. So it's probably not want to have it be up as much, but now this take has it over there. This one has it over here. This one looks like this. And this one looks like this. Super useful, right? So this doesn't actually only apply to ROBs. Uh, you can actually do it with, uh, with other stuff as well. For example, I can go into, let's say my Taurus and you can see there's, uh, I have some, and, and let's turn off auto take by the way. Let's go back to my main take. And my Taurus here, if I turn this to the first input, falls down. And has the specific amount of points. So let's say if we want to, for example, uh, output driver. So let's say we want to cache this out, for example. We could, for example, do this in a specific take. So let's say we only want, like we want to use take three for that. And let's say in take three, we want to have uh, no, not density scale. We want in take. We want to have less points. Uh, let's go back to our main take. So let's save it out. Uh, let's call this maybe slash. Uh, Oh, Taurus ball. Oh, it's yeah. Taurus. And uh, let's save out a couple of frames. 70. So if I now I have my Taurus falling apart with less points than I actually have here. Like if I were to put it back to main take and I save it out now, you can see now how we have more points. And you can use these takes everywhere. Um, so it's, it's super useful for managing render variations and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So uh, yeah, 
I just I thought it would make for a uh, would make for a useful little tutorial. Just a quick tip. So if you weren't aware of using takes, now you are. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to destroy the like button. That really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with my regular videos that I put out, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Because if you hit the bell icon, then you get notified whenever I post uh, new videos. Uh, and as some of you uh, regular viewers might know, like I have... Uh, Houdini 101, which is my Houdini beginner course, uh, new episodes every five days. I have Pyrofluid, uh, another course, episodes every five days. I do regular Houdini tutorials every now and then, so a whole bunch of stuff comes out. Uh, and of course, this channel is made possible by a whole bunch of my Patreons. So if you want to be a Patreon supporter, that really helps out as well. Uh, so you can support me on Patreon, on patreon.com slash tip van Helsdingen. Uh, and if you're a Patreon supporter, you also get access to this, to this uh, little... Uh, file here that I have so on my website link will be in the description you can just download this file and it applies to anything that I make uh, so anything I make that I upload on YouTube uh, almost anything has a download link to the source files where you can download stuff and just play around with it so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah until next time guys peace oh and by the way if you have any suggestions for topics uh, leave a comment um, because I mean, if you if 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 you suggest some something and I think it's an interesting idea, I might record a video on it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.